To counter China's rapidly slowing economic growth, the Chinese government has returned to the policy playbook that worked well in the past, spending money on large infrastructure projects. In this video we will show about top ongoing mega projects in China. Before we start don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 1. Shanghai Urban Rail Transit Expansion The Shanghai Urban Rail Transit Expansion includes construction of nine rail projects, including six subway lines and three intercity railways. The projects which began in 2018 are estimated to total 286 kilometers. The network is aimed at creating better connections between the financial hubs, two airports and two major railway stations. They are expected to be complete by 2023. The cost of the project is 44.23 billion US dollars. Number 2. Intercity Railway Along the Yangtze River in Jiangsu Province Eight regional intercity railways will be built in a metropolitan cluster along the Yangtze River in Jiangsu Province, a move to shorten commuting time from Nanjing, the capital city of Jiangsu Province, to other districts and cities within the province. Some of the lines will also connect Nanjing to municipalities in the neighboring Anhui Province. Construction of the intercity lines are estimated to run until 2025. The cost of the project is 34.35 billion US dollars. Number 3. Wuhan Urban Rail Transit The Wuhan Urban Rail Transit involves construction of four metro lines and four urban express lines in the central Chinese city of Wuhan. The NDRC said that the projects will support Wuhan's urban layout and ease the city's traffic congestion. A circle line with 37 stops starting from Wuchang Railway Station tops the investment plan which alone will cost US $8.66 billion. The construction will run to 2024. The cost of the project is $21.78 billion. US dollars. Number 4. Intercity Rail Network in Eastern Guangdong The Intercity Rail Network in Eastern Guangdong Province will facilitate connections between the cities of Shantou, Shanwei, Keizhou, and Jiang. Construction on three rail lines totaling 320 kilometers started construction in 2018. With work on four others totaling 140 kilometers will start at the right time. Seven urban rail transit lines, including the extension of three existing lines and four new lines, are due to be constructed in Changchun to 2024. The cost of the project is 14.86 billion US dollars. Number 5. South North Water Transfer Project, China The north of China is home to almost 50% of China's population, but has only about 20% of the country's water resources. To remedy this imbalance, China has funded the construction of three huge canals, each more than 600 miles long, and will carry water to the north from China's three largest rivers. The project has a 48-year construction schedule. When completed, it will supply 44.8 billion cubic. Number 6. Beijing Airport, China Beijing International Airport will eventually surpass Dubai's Al Maktoum International Airport in cost, total square miles, and passenger and plane capacity. The airport's first phase was completed in time for the 2008 Olympic. Further expansion is scheduled for completion by 2025. Terminal 1, designed by the architect Zaha Hadid, incorporates a number of sustainable design concepts in a futuristic building envelope. Number 7. Lingang New City in Shanghai Nanhui New City is a planned city located in the Pudong New area of Shanghai, China. It was formerly called Lingang New City until renamed in April 2012. Construction began in 2003 and is scheduled to be completed in 2023, and it aims to attract 450,000 residents and 10 million tourists annually by 2023. The city was slated to become a mini Hong Kong, but although real estate developments sold quickly, people have been reluctant to move in. To help vitalize the city, eight university campuses have been built on the west side of Nanyue New City, bringing in more than 100,000 students. Number 8. Sichuan Tibet Railway the Sichuan Tibet Railway is the second rail link between Tibet and hinterland provinces after a connection with Qinghai was launched in 2006, connecting Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan province, and Lhasa, the capital of Tibet Autonomous Region. The project could reduce travel time from 36 hours to 13 hours. Construction on the project, which has a planned investment of US $50.6 billion, started at the end of 2020 and is expected to be completed by 2026. The section connecting Chengdu and the city of Yan in Sichuan province opened in 2018, with the 435 km section between Ningxi and Tibet Autonomous Region and Lhasa opened in June. Which of these projects do you think will be the best in China? Are there projects that we did not mention? Write it in the comments. And here we are at the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.